listen to these phrases and try to work out the, the meaning. Estoy comiendo. Estoy hablando. Estoy haciendo algo importante. They were all I'm doing type phrases. I'm eating. Estoy comiendo. Estoy hablando. I'm speaking or I'm talking. And estoy haciendo algo importante. I'm doing something important. So, I'm doing, also called the present continuous. So, let's have a look first of all at estoy hablando. I'm talking or I'm speaking. Estoy, we know is I'm, I am. And ando is the ing ending, quite easy to remember. It's got a similar ring to it. Ando, the ing ending. So, estoy hablando con mi madre. I'm speaking with or to my mother. Estoy comprando algo. I'm buying something. And if it's not an AR verb, so it's not ando, it's yendo, yendo. So for the other two, ER and IR verbs, we say yendo, I-E-N-D-O. So estoy comiendo, I'm eating. Estoy bebiendo, I'm drinking. Estoy aprendiendo algo, I'm learning something. To say you are or are you doing something, we change the estoy, the I'm bit, to estás, you are or are you. Estás hablando mucho. You're talking a lot. Estás comiendo? Are you eating or are you having lunch? And then the rest, the other parts, as long as you know the different parts for estar, will be very straightforward. So, está, he or she is, estamos, we are, and están, they are. So let's practice. Um, use the on-screen grid if necessary. If not, look away and try to work out the sentences without it. How would you say he's talking to friends or he's talking with friends? Está hablando con amigos. Está hablando con amigos. How about we are doing something important? We are doing something important. Estamos haciendo algo importante. Estamos haciendo algo importante. How about they are learning Spanish. They are learning Spanish. Están aprendiendo español. Están aprendiendo español. How about Are you speaking Spanish? Are you speaking Spanish? ¿Estás hablando español? ¿Estás hablando español? And how about, are you doing something important? We might say anything important. Are you doing something important? ¿Estás haciendo algo importante? 
¿Estás haciendo algo importante? The irregular verbs in this tense, the I'm doing, or the present continuous tense, don't present too many difficulties. When the stem, the main middle part, of the verb ends in an E or an I, the ing ending is yendo instead of yendo. Yendo instead of yendo. This is to avoid having two vowels together at the end there. So that what would be ie ndo changes to ye and it's a fairly natural sounding change to make. So Leer. So you've got an E just before the ER of the infinitive. So that will be estoy leyendo. Estoy leyendo. And if you did say estoy leyendo, leyendo with the I, it would be perfectly understood. So estoy leyendo. Estamos cayendo. So, caer. Caer is to fall. We are falling. Cayendo. Here are some common verbs that fall into that category. Traer is to bring. So, trayendo. Construir to construct or to build and that would be construyendo destruir to destroy destruyendo incluir incluyendo oír oyendo so, oír, to hear, oyendo, hearing. And, as I said, how would you say, he's bringing, he's bringing. Está trayendo, está trayendo, he's bringing. What about, they are building a house. They're constructing a house. They are building a house. Están construyendo una casa. Están construyendo una casa. The other set of irregular verbs in this tense are where the IR stem changing verbs that we know from the present so, for example, repetir, if in the present you want to say he or she repeats, you say repito, I repeat, repite, he or she repeats. So, in the present tense, there's a stem change where the E changes to an I, and that, that set of verbs in, in this tense, the present continuous, the doing, also has a change. And the E changes to an I again. So, repetir, to repeat. Repeating is repitiendo, repitiendo. Estoy repitiendo mucho. I'm repeating a lot. Uh, mentir is to lie. Lying is mintiendo, mintiendo. Before we practice what we have learned, uh, a couple of notes about the practical usage of, of this tense in Spanish. Uh, in English we say, I'm going, so I'm going to the beach. 
And if we directly translated into Spanish, those exact words, estoy yendo, I'm going, estoy yendo, that would not be what, what people actually say. So if you're saying, I'm going to the beach, you don't say, estoy yendo, you say, voy. Voy a la playa. The same as, I go to the beach for go. I go and I'm going is, uh, is the same word, voy. So we don't say, estoy yendo, to say, I'm going somewhere. We say, boy. In the same way as if you say, I'm going to do something. That I'm going to is boy a. Boy a hacer algo. So, I'm going translates as just boy, V-A-Y. That's the first thing. The second thing is that in English, we often use the present continuous to refer to a plan, a future plan, that we may have. So, for example, you can ask the question, what are you doing tonight? So, it's the present continuous, doing, but it's not referring to right now, it's referring to later, to the future. And you could answer, I'm going out with friends, I'm staying at home, using that ing. Now that's particular to English. Most other languages don't have that usage of the present continuous, and Spanish doesn't. So in Spanish, it's just for what's happening now, not for future plans. If you were going to ask, if you were going to say, uh, what are you doing tonight? In Spanish, you would say something like, what are you going to do tonight? I'm going to stay at home, not I'm staying at home. Okay, now for some practice, regular and irregular together. The, the grid support is there if you choose to use it, or you can ignore it, or you can fade it out, however confident you're feeling. Okay, how would you say, I'm learning something difficult. I'm learning something difficult. Estoy aprendiendo algo difícil. Estoy aprendiendo algo difícil. How about... They are reading something difficult. They are reading something difficult. Están leyendo algo difícil. Están leyendo algo difícil. How about... Are you working? Are you working? ¿Estás trabajando? ¿Estás trabajando? How about... He is saying something difficult. He is saying something difficult. Está diciendo algo difícil. Está diciendo algo difícil. How about I'm finishing the lesson? I'm finishing the lesson. Estoy terminando la lección. Estoy terminando la lección. How about 
we are following the lesson. We are following the lesson. Estamos siguiendo la lección. Estamos siguiendo la lección. How about She's building a house. She's building a house. Está construyendo una casa. Está construyendo una casa.